These are 20 of the wildest moments in MLB history. You gotta be kidding me. And at number 20, this hit was about to make a player an M. Uh, kinda. And a young can change it with one swing. Just one, baby. He knocked out the M in Big Mac land. But at number 90, an MLB player got a reporter wet. I love you, v <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like I just made me deliver the walk-off hit. All right, let's keep going. Jazz is wild for that. But what he did at number 18 was even wilder. Because the Phillies mascot was always whipping around in his little ATV. Until one game, Jazz committed GTA. To the ATV. Uh-uh, no, no, okay. He gone. And we really got GTA MLB before GTA 6. That's crazy. But not as crazy as number 17, where the MLB turned into World War III. Is that a USA jab we've got going on now after the flyovers? Straight to the top, just like the Orioles. <laughs> that jet reminds me of the good old days. But anyways, number 16 was so wild, a fan was forced to get it tattooed on his ass. Because with the Orioles losing, they were just an out away from their inning being over. So a fan tweeted out, you know, if Heston hits a grand slam, I'll get his name tatted on my ass. In the air, right center field. Hill at the track, he's at the wall, and it's out of here! <laughs> so once that bomb went down, the fan's tweet went beyond viral. Then dude eventually posted pics of him getting the tat done, and really got Heston's name put onto him for life. But at number 50, a player's wood became the biggest uh, story in the world. Cause at first it was like any normal at bat. Ooh, he got one there and he fouled it off and the bat is stuck up in the netting above the Blue Jays dugout. That's one you don't see every day. Who's getting that? So it looks like Justin Turner throwing baseballs at the bat to trying to get Vladdy's bat out of the netting. Eventually, literally innings later, not only did someone finally get the bat down, once Vlad got his stick back, he was literally seen kissing it. But even that ain't as wild as number 14, because a player literally forgot what to wear during his game. He's about to pitch for the Indians here at Fenway Park in Boston. I don't know what happened, who complained about what. I don't know what kind of shoes he had on. Well, he wears different shoes all the time and no one ever says anything. It's kind of one of his inside things. Whenever the team's going bad, he wears different shoes every single day. Well, Done. What the heck was wrong with him? I have they no idea. They were blue and red like everybody else's. Ow. What was wrong with these? Well, maybe something happened to his shoes. Well, he calls timeout. Maybe the pitching toe or something. Oh, the spike looks like the spike broke. And uh, Perez just needed a new a shoe issue. He had a flat tire. <laughs> All right, that's something I never thought I'd see. But at number 13, cameras caught a player mid-game taking a pee. Where's he going? He's going behind the scoreboard. <laughs> guys used to go back there too, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Can he come back, please? Because at this it's moment, not a pitching change. Manny is not in left field. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Manny. Here we go. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Come on back, Manny. <laughs> Now that was the craziest leak I watched since Sketch. I did not have sexual relations with that man. I did. Anyways, at number 12, a home run by an MLB star won him a brand new car. At the time, Hyundai was coming up with their newest electric model that had futuristic features. So to promote their whip to the world, they were giving one away to the first MLB player to hit a home run. But let's be honest, Mookie's always hitting home runs, so dude winning a new whip ain't even that surprising. But at number 11, players pulled off a wild prank on their star pitcher just because it was his off day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. What happens when the batter hits a line drive right into that dugout? Yeah, this is the only way you could possibly keep him quiet or in one spot for any longer than a minute. Man's really took it from them dudes like a champ. But all right, all right, all right, all right. Now that we're getting into the top 10 wildest moments in MLB history, it's time we take things to a whole new level of wild. Hot tour. Like the time a team literally sold a player's car in the middle of a game. Huh? Or when players set their teammate on fire, there was even an MLB game that turned into a food fight. But honestly, before we get to those and more, I just gotta say, crazy baseball moments happening in a YouTube video are nothing compared to watching them live in person. So that's why I partnered up with my boys at Game Time to get you in on the action. 
Here on their app, I can honestly say it's the best ticket buying experience I've ever used. It's not only easy, for any event, not just MLB, Game Time shows the best prices available, and I get to see the exact view I get from any seat in the arena before even making a purchase. Yeah, I'm definitely going with this. That's why whenever I'm buying tickets to MLB games or NBA games, concerts, and more, Game Time gets me hyped for these events because it never matters if I want tickets early, last minute, or late. The Game Time app allows me to handle everything stress-free with no hidden fees. And the best part about all this is that they're even letting me hook you up with a crazy deal for your first event. All you gotta do is download the Game Time app, create an account, then use my code HITFLIX, and I'm guaranteeing tickets to your first event or an extra $20 off. Let me say it again, $20 off. Terms apply. Honestly though, I just want you to experience a live event like never before, so I highly recommend you try out the Game Time app at least this one time, man. Just look around, and if you see something you want to show up to, use this code right here, H-I-T-F-L-I-X, for a free $20 off. Then, let me know in the comments if Game Time and I took your love for sports to a whole new level. But anyways, back to the top 10 wildest moments in MLB history. Like at number 10, a moment that was so wild, it got a fan arrested. After going viral for whatever the hell that was, he not only showed up to court wearing the exact same fit, his mugshot made its way all over the news. But crazy fans aren't the only ones creating wild moments. Cause at number 9, wild mascots have been taking over the MLB. From them raw dogging each other on live TV, to Spider-Man literally trying to shoot his web at fans, plenty of mascots have been caught acting wild as hell at games. There was even a time Bigfoot showed up to a stadium. But the wildest mascot moment came when a mascot saved a team's season. Cause the Mets were playing like absolute trash. The record was just 37 and 39. Until the McDonald's mascot grimaced throughout the first pitch of the game. From that point on, the Mets kept winning and winning and winning while Grimace was seen everywhere. He basically became their good luck charm. Then he started causing chaos at games and acting like a fool on the big screen. Regardless, fans dressed up like him. Even the players knew he saved their season. He definitely correlates with us, you know, going on this run. That's what you want to attribute it to, that, that I'm all for it. We can keep Grimace around and keep playing good ball. Good things are going to happen. But Mets players and their new mascot acting wild, that's one thing. Something wild that their manager did at number eight got him suspended and fined five thousand dollars. Terry, 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 Terry. Of course, a moment that crazy only happened after umpires made a terrible call. Cause not only did the Mets manager argue until he was ejected, not long after, cameras noticed him trying to sneak back in the game. Hey, Bobby Valentine, the dugout. Wait. <laughs> Give me that again. <laughs> Well, Bobby was thrown out on that catcher's interference call, and he's gone incognito. Sorry, Skip, we got you. That fake mustache and glasses disguise wasn't fooling anyone, especially the MLB. They were about to punish manager man because he went against their rules on ejections, so they suspended him for multiple games and fined him five grand. But sometimes it's a player's own team doing something wild. Like in number seven, I never, ever, ever thought I'd hear about a home team purposely ruining their own team's play. Well, the boys in the audio room. Yeah, that's on you. It's It happens. <sighs> Man, when I heard that, I almost had a heart attack. But in number six, a play literally went backwards. This hit happened. But even though the ball went over the wall and should have been a grand slam, the umpires couldn't even see it, so everybody was confused, and it led to chaos. That's a home run. That is a home run. That's a home run. After the replays, umpires got together and tried figuring out, you know, uh, what the f*** was even going on right now, which eventually led to them making the correct call for once. But once they admitted it was a homer, they forced the hitter to run the bases backwards. He's running backwards to touch all the bases, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yo, Michael Moore says he got to go back in the batter's box. Look at this. I've never seen this before in my life. This is unbelievable. There's got to be a reason why the umpires are doing this. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> are you kidding me? Right field. It is deep. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Grand Slam, the Nationals are on top by four. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. That'll never happen again. And neither will number five, because an MLB game turned into a food fight. At the Philly ballpark, it was glizzy night. 
which meant $1 hot dogs. So everybody was trying to gobble. Gabe's almost over. You know we sold over 2,000 hot dogs already? Wow. But eventually, so many wieners around got fans a little too excited. It started with them having hot dog eating contests. And this kid was eating a bunch of hot dogs. He had 13. They were trying to get them to, you know, people were like, eat another one, eat another one. So they started throwing hot dogs to him. The guard came over and started yelling. And then it just went nuts. The situation got so out of control that fans not only got kicked out, the Phillies canceled their glizzy tradition forever. But at number four, a team literally stole their own player's car in the middle of a game. What's the background on the Derek Bell one? Well, you know, in Toronto, they gave us cars, so everyone had the same car. But Derek, you know, decided to drive his car up there, so he loved his Jeep. And he talked about the sound system. It costs more than the, than the car itself. We knew that he was going to play, and I, I'm sitting in the clubhouse the day before. I felt like, you know what? I said, it's Fan Appreciation Day. I said, we're going to get his Jeep. That's about the third inning, they bring it up to the tunnel. Go under, giving away Derek Bell's Jeep. Honestly, they were kind of doing dude a favor, like that truck was a shit stain. But speaking of shit stains, at number three, it's one of the most embarrassing interviews you'll ever see. Sorry. Hey Joey, uh, Aaron Boone said that he had thought for a while. <laughs> dude really got in front of a girl and pooped himself. But at number two, a playoff game got taken over by a bug invasion. They started to attack when the Yankees were winning. Then right as the pitcher was trying to throw, Bug swarmed his face and buzzed in his ears so much that Duke couldn't focus and threw four straight balls. A four pitch walk, tying run on in the eighth. But the bugs didn't only cause a walk. They got so bad that the pitcher had to take a break just to get some bug spray. Then when he came back, he threw a bad pitch that advanced the runner and just a few pitches later, the bugs made him completely ruin the game. What a pitch, here comes Sizemore, friendly bounce, not in time. Obviously, you have distractions everywhere, but when they're flying in your face and, and in your ears. And Don't know if it's the case. We won't know until the game is over, but the insects have gotten under the skin of Jabba Chamberlain in this eighth inning. So the bugs eventually cost the Yankees the lead, and that led to them eventually losing the game. Like, that was not what anybody was expecting. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! But the number one wildest moment in MLB history not only ruined some baseball, it killed over 60 people. Something that wild went down in San Francisco, California. Cause just minutes before the start of a World Series game, announcers were talking when out of nowhere. And he fails to get Dave Parker at second base, so the Oakland A's take, take, tell you what, we're having an earthquake. One of the biggest earthquakes in the state's history struck, which had people everywhere scared of losing their life. Could we have been pitched out of the booth? Could the upper deck have collapsed? Those were the thoughts that made your heart sink and your throat go into your heart. All of a sudden, the press box started to shake uncontrollably. There was this enormous roar, and it sounded like a flight of major military bombers had flown over. I was working for ESPN. Chris Berman and I, we were relegated to the upper deck, uh, right behind home plate. The top of the stadium seemed to move. And the ground was shaking, man! All of a sudden, there's a big rump, and the little tables, the, the, the little monitors are shaking around. The whole upper deck went, ba ba boom ba ba boom ba ba boom and if it did it again, I was gonna my pants. The situation got so bad that everyone was forced to evacuate the stadium and the game was postponed. But the World Series being canceled wasn't even the wildest part. Cause in other parts of the city, businesses were catching on fire, buildings collapsed, and worst of all, the Bay Bridge was completely destroyed. Oh my God, look at that. The freeway has just completely collapsed. So the earthquake didn't just ruin the biggest MLB game of the year, it caused damages of over $6 billion and killed 63 people. 